Good morning. So glad you've joined us today for DA Lives, what's new in SOLIDWORKS 21 and 3D experience. We invite you to stick around after today's presentation for a live Q&A. We'll go ahead and get started momentarily, but we're waiting a couple minutes for others to join us. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Without further ado, I'll hand things over to Bob McGoy, Randy Simmons, and Todd Myers. 25 years, millions of passionate users, and here we are again, showcasing another release of SolidWorks. More than ever, it's become apparent that the future design is collaboration. Today, my friends, Todd Myers, Randy Simmons, and myself are going to collaborate and show you the what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2021. You'll see enhancements inside of SOLIDWORKS 2021, as well as powerful workflows showcased in the 3D Experience platform, where you can leverage your preferred CAD system, SOLIDWORKS. Tackling the inspection of dark, harsh, and sensitive environments is the specialty of Square Robot a startup based out of Boston, Massachusetts. Using advanced submersible robotics lowered into a petroleum storage tank, they autonomously inspect these environments for defects in the storage vessel using state-of-the-art sensing technology. By being able to use robotics for this task, they have reduced costs for their customers while improving accuracy. Their design is focused on safety and reliability for these unique environments providing maximum uptime and allowing inspections to take place when and where humans would have to otherwise wait for the tanks to be empty. Founded in 2016, Square Robot chose SolidWorks and AnoviaWorks as their go-to design and management solutions. It was critical for them from the start to have the ability to work from anywhere combined with best-in-class design tools. The original promise of the platform remains. We're uniting the most powerful brands of Dassault systems into a common platform for an unmatched level of collaboration and capabilities. SOLIDWORKS has always been a huge brand for Dassault systems, and for that reason, we've curated a collection of the most relevant roles and handpicked a portfolio for you, our most valued customers. We call it 3D Experience Works. Let's take a look at SOLIDWORKS 2021 in action. We have several demos for you, so sit back, relax, and let's get into this. Each section we will demonstrate and highlight 
some of the enhancements and improvements to the software. We'll start with the essentials, like parts, assemblies, and drawings. And then we'll move on to more powerful tools in the SOLIDWORKS ecosystem, like Visualize, Simulation, and PDM. The final section of this presentation, we will discuss the 3D Experience platform and how it is applicable to you. Let's kick this off by looking at some customer-driven enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2021 for the user interface. To complete this part, we need to cut and pattern this sketch. However, the part and the sketch color are very similar. Changing color has always been an option inside of SOLIDWORKS. In SOLIDWORKS 2021, we added columns under System Options Color to make it easier to find the colors in which you want to change. Let's set inactive sketches to a green color to make it more visible. Also in 2021, we gave you the ability to collapse the command manager, giving you more real estate. Now I like the command manager, but I want to use the S keyboard shortcut. So I need to customize it because I need a pattern on there. So if I go into tools, customize, I can grab the shortcut toolbar here and customize that. New in 2021, we give you the ability to search for either shortcuts or commands from customize menu. Here, let's go ahead and grab the pattern command and let's get a little fancy here. Let's grab some undo and some redo and we're gonna throw that up to the, dis the quick display toolbar. Now that we've got the customization finish, let's go ahead and finish off this part. Using my S key, I pulled up the extrude command, did the extrude cut, and now we're gonna do that pattern. Pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Now, sometimes it's easy to make mistakes. And when we make mistakes, sometimes we have to recreate our work. No longer inside of 2021. When we do redo, it will actually redo through a feature edit, which is great. Let's take a look at some of the new things we have to offer in SOLIDWORKS 2021 in way of part enhancements. In this frame assembly, let's focus on a few of the components that we want to highlight. We'll focus on sheet metal, 3MF support, weldments, and if we have time, we'll focus on a few other features as well. When working with sheet metal parts, we've long been able to create edge flanges on curved edges like this one on the right, but limited to curved edges originating from a planar face. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2021, edge flanges can be created on a curved edge originating from a non-planar face, such as a bend. The preview shows the edge flange is going to create all the way around the part. The ability to customize that edge flange, just like any other, is there, modifying the length, the edge, angles, all available. This new edge flange looks great, and make sure that it provides stiffness to that angle bracket. Of course. It can still be flattened, it's ready for detailing, and export to DXF for fabrication. The flange looks great for structural integrity, but can also be useful for enclosures and guardings. The edge flange on the far side of this component needs to protect the components for the navigation control unit. So full editing capabilities are now available so we can change the direction of the flange as well as the angle to wrap around the internal components to keep them safe. This LED light assembly contains various colors, applied textures, and transparencies that need to be 3D printed. In SOLIDWORKS 2021, the support for import and export of 3MF files has been extended. Now color, texture, and transparency are supported on an export. This information is stored in the 3MF file and used for manufacturing in other applications. When opening the 3MF file in SOLIDWORKS 2021, we now support many more appearances per facet, per vertice color, as well as textures and transparencies are now visualized when importing 3MF files on a graphic body. Additive manufacturing continues to rise in its capabilities and popularity and SOLIDWORKS continues to embrace this technology. When working in a weldments environment, it's common to use various sizes of weldment members. The horizontal tubes here are two by two square and the vertical tubes are a three by two rectangular tube. 
The Weldment Trim and Extend tool is used to trim the tubes to each other with various options for corner types. The two butt trims indicate how the tubes will trim off of each other. The miter trim bisects the angles between the two tubes, creating an equal angle miter trim. Since these tubes are different profiles, the angles of the miter don't quite match up the way that we want. New in Sawers 2021 is the option under miter trim for a flush miter trim. It does just what it says it's going to do. It trims those tubes to each other. The vertical members are then mirrored and the update happens. This weldment needs to be painted. So let's go in and edit the appearance and choose a color. We have a wide a variety of colors to choose from the palette. We can also use the color spectrum to define our own custom color, but often we need to choose a specific color that's dictated by the customer. Let's take a look at the Square Robots homepage. We can learn a lot about their products and their initiatives, but really what we want is that color off that banner. So let's go grab that blue color and apply that to our weldment. New and Sours 2021 is an option to use a color dropper and drag the dropper on any area of your screen and select the color that you need in our Sours model. We'll grab that blue color, We'll add that in to our model there, just a simple click. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab the vertical members and we're gonna make those a different color. We'll grab that orange off of that icon. Simple click, finish that off. That color is then propagated through its pattern and we've been able to grab that color. We'll grab that right off of the customer website. We could have also grabbed that from a paint manufacturer, maybe a Pantone color that we need off the website. Custom properties are a great way to store information about a document, such as description, creation date, and material. These can be leveraged automatically to populate a title block, a bill material, and PDM. Sometimes it's necessary to calculate a result to define a custom property. Now in Sowers 2021, equation support has been added to custom properties. This is one of my favorites. Choose equation as a property type and you'll have access to global variables, math functions, and other properties. For this weldment, we need to define an estimated cost based upon a global variable, which is the estimated finished cost and multiply it by the mass of the part. That's gonna give us $428.60. The equation can also be used in cut lists as well. This plate cut list is used four times. We'd like to know the total length of the plates together. Choose equation, the property type for that calculation that we want to multiply, the plates, and the result is 20 and a half. With new curved edge flanges, enhanced 3MF support, new weldment trims, custom colors from the color picker right off your screen, equations inside of custom properties, and cut list. These are all new enhancements in Sowers 2021. They're going to make your life a lot easier. Now I'm going to hand it over to Todd and he's going to show you some of the new enhancements when it comes to assemblies in Sowers 2021. As you get into working with assembly designs in SolidWorks 2021, you'll see streamlined tools to help you assemble, pattern, and analyze your assemblies. You'll also benefit from the many performance improvements in this year's release. Now when working with Mates in SOLIDWORKS 2021, you'll find a newly modified property manager. If you're looking for a specific mate, you no longer need to expand sections for each mate group to find it. There are now tabs for each group, making it easier to navigate to the correct mate. We want to switch the alignment of this mate. We know that when we do this, SOLIDWORKS is going to ask us how do we want to handle the other components and mates impacted by this change. Choosing no often means we're going to overdefine other mates and we'll have to do some manual corrections to fix everything. Choosing yes in this case would have avoided this issue by instead flipping the other affected mates and making this a simpler task. In SOLIDWORKS 2021, there is a new system option under assemblies to set one of these choices to be your default. Or 
you can continue to have SOLIDWORKS prompt you when mate alignment changes come up. Setting the option to always will by default flip the alignment of other mates in future scenarios. Another enhancement to mates in SOLIDWORKS 2021 is how you can now choose the default type of position for slot mates. In this example, the center of slot option has been selected as the default choice, and you now have the option to lock rotation of slot mates just like you can with concentric mates. To set the default for your slot mates, go to the document settings of your file and look under mates. Updating your template with this option can save you a lot of time in every new file that you create, and you can always override your default whenever you want. SOLIDWORKS has always offered the flexibility to change the configuration of each component instance within a pattern. However, sometimes you may want all the components to reference the original instance. Doing this manually for each instance can take you a lot of time. In SOLIDWORKS 2021, you have a new option to synchronize the configurations of all instances created by a pattern. The new option also keeps you from inadvertently changing the configuration of any of the components from its quick menu dropdown, and it locks this option in the component properties. With this option, any configuration changes to the seed component will now propagate to all the instances. Interference detection is a powerful tool that can tell us about how things fit inside our assemblies. SOLIDWORKS 2021 now offers the option to save these interferences out into a spreadsheet. You even have the choice to capture a screenshot for each of these interferences. This offers a new collaborative way to review interferences with your team and determine are they intentional due to fit conditions or decide what changes need to be made to solve these interferences. Now let's take a look at the performance enhancements that will keep you working as efficiently as possible. Open times for both resolved and lightweight assemblies have been improved in SOLIDWORKS 2021. And with these enhancements, the larger the assembly, the greater gains you'll see while opening them in lightweight mode. In the past, when you wanted to resolve components in lightweight mode, it was a bit of an effort to right-click the component and select the resolve option. Now, in SOLIDWORKS 2021, simply expanding a component in the Feature Manager tree will dynamically load them, and that gives you access to the fully resolved subassembly or part. This lets you avoid loading large assemblies while allowing you to quickly access and resolve components on the fly. Working with configurations in SOLIDWORKS 2021 is now also faster, and switching between configurations and creating new configurations are now both significantly faster in assemblies. The performance evaluation tool has seen some great improvements recently, and in 2021 it now identifies circular references between components. Circular references can negatively impact your performance in a major way, so now if performance evaluation picks one up, you can easily navigate to it and decide if it should be kept, changed, or broken. In SOLIDWORKS 2019, we saw incredible performance benefits from using Silhouette DeFeature. Silhouette DeFeature allows us to create a simplified version of assemblies to reduce the complexity of the models, which will improve our performance, and also to protect intellectual property, like if we had to send this to an outside vendor. But we had to save these versions to their own part files. Now in 2021, Silhouette D feature allows us to create the simplified versions as configurations within the assembly, making it easy to manage and utilize these simplified versions without having to manage an extra file. When using D featured models within higher assemblies, it's now as simple as right clicking on the component and choosing to use the D featured version. D featured assemblies as configurations provide a way to both simplify complex assemblies and get a performance boost in cases where all the detail of the individual components isn't necessary. With these new performance-oriented features in SOLIDWORKS 2021, you'll be able to work faster and more efficiently with larger and more complex designs. Now let's go back to Randy who's going to show us what's new in SOLIDWORKS drawings. 
So along the same lines as assemblies, we also have some great performance gains in drawings, and particularly in detailing mode that we'll take a look at in this section. So when you're working with a large assembly drawing, view manipulation is very vital to your user experience. And over the years, SolidWorks has worked hard to optimize these view manipulations on the screen. Detailing mode was introduced in SolidWorks 2020 to allow users to open massive drawings in seconds. And for assemblies, the enhanced graphics performance option was implemented to take advantage of the high-end graphics cards by moving the graphics burden over to the card. So in SolidWorks 2021, the enhanced graphics performance option has been extended to the drawing environment. So on the left, we have SolidWorks 2020 and on the right, 2021. And you can see in this side-by-side -side comparison with the same five-sheet drawing here, let's take a look at panning. Notice that in SolidWorks 2020, on the left, it does a good job, but you can see that there's some latency as the drawing does not precisely follow the mouse around. The same panning action in SolidWorks 2021 on the right is dramatically faster in keeping up with the mouse, which is going to provide you a much better experience. Zooming in and out is just as dramatic, and panning while zoomed is super fast as well. For comparison, we'll repeat the same steps in SolidWorks 2020. Again, notice the latency here. Sometimes can be confusing uh, as you overshoot your zoom magnification due to the delay. Panning is better while zoomed in, but not as fast and as precise as in 2021. Scroll bar pans show similar graphics performance gain in 2021 as well. For years, the SOLIDWORKS development team has been working to write this code, partnering with the hardware vendors to continue to raise the bar for performance like this. As I mentioned, detailing mode was introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2020, and it's a way to open massive drawings in seconds. But it's not just limited to viewing the drawing. Viewing performance is obviously super fast, thanks to the performance improvements we just showed in 2021. But detailing mode also allows you to perform typical detailing tasks, like editing and adding dimensions and annotations. In SOLIDWORKS 2021, detailing mode now supports editing of existing annotations, like notes and dimensions. The front view on this drawing is displayed as a broken view with foreshortened dimensions, but the top view is not broken yet. Now detailing mode supports broken views, cropped views, and even detail views. Similar to the front view, let's break the top view in three places. All of the break line styles are available, as well as the gap between the breaks. Ordinate dimensioning is supported, and we can now add additional items to existing ordinate dimensions, such as these edges and center lines. Detail views can be created in the same manner as you would when the drawing is fully loaded. Just draw the detail circle or choose a sketch profile and place the view. Sometimes when you're detailing drawings, it's common to define hole information. And now in SOLIDWORKS 2021, detailing mode supports these hole callouts. Also, foreshortened dimensions are applied when necessary. Existing dimensions now have full editing capability. For example, the tolerance on the dimension between the holes is important for the function of the part, and all the dimension properties are available, including its tolerance and precision. Regardless of how you open the drawing, the dimension tool has also been enhanced to make it easier to create dimensions. Notice now that the dimension text is transparent after the first selection, making it much easier to see the second selection. A new leader type is available for balloons and allows users to tag inspection points per VDA requirements. Position and rotation are easily manipulated, and these new balloon styles can be used directly by SOLIDWORKS inspection. Finally, when you're working with sketch geometry on a drawing, it's very common to add relations just as you would in a sketch. Previously, these relations were over in the property manager, but now in SOLIDWORKS 2021, Sketch Relations pop-up toolbar is available, which allows you to easily apply sketch relations with very minimal mouse travel. Improvements in the drawing environment are always among the most popular enhancements with the SOLIDWORKS user base, and in SOLIDWORKS 2021, the tradition definitely continues. Next, Bob is going to show you what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2021 for model-based definition. Next, Todd is going to show you what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2021 for model-based definition. Thanks, Randy. Let's take a look at SOLIDWORKS MBD 2021 enhancements. SOLIDWORKS MBD provides an integrated alternative to creating 2D drawings. 
It helps you provide, define, organize, and publish 3D product manufacturing information, or PMI, into an industry standard format. 3D views provide an easy way to organize individual manufacturing operations, capture model orientations, display relevant data, removing ambiguity to make it easier for you to understand. Now, datum targets are useful for defining points or areas of contact to establish a datum to simulate mating of parts or fixturing. Now in SOWERS 2021, datum targets are available in an MBD environment. Location dimensions can accurately define the location of the datum target and are fully definable. Let's go ahead and change this dimension for this datum target, A1, and we'll go to the other end of the part and we're going to go ahead and create an A3 datum target. You can place that target as a balloon and we can define it as a point, a circle, or a rectangle area. Here, we're going to do a circular area reference, and we're going to do that with about a quarter of an inch. Location dimensions can be applied to define the exact position of that target. We'll use a one inch dimension off the end, and then from the bottom, flange face, which is also datum B, we're going to establish a one and three quarter inch dimension to that datum target. Now flat patterns and 3D views have been available in the past, including bend tables and bend notes in the 3D view. But now in SOLIDWORKS MBD 2021, the bend table information can be published to the 3D PDF in a clear, concise, tabular format, similar to the way a build material is handled. For this part, let's attach a neutral file format, a step file, and include the flat pattern information along with a DXF for laser cutting. All the custom properties are extracted from the part and pushed in the 3D PDF. The bend table columns can be selected for publishing. The 3D PDF is a great way to accurately communicate that design downstream to people that are not fortunate enough to have SOLIDWORKS. All is needed is Adobe Acrobat Reader, and all the 3D views are present and easy to read and navigate through. All the information, datum targets are available, the flat pattern views contained the bend notes and the corresponding tabulated bend table on the left. So you can see there's some pretty nice enhancements there with MBD in SOLIDWORKS 2021. I'm going to throw it back over to Randy and he's going to show us some information about e-drawings. E-drawings, as you know, is our way of sharing 3D concepts while also allowing you to protect your intellectual property. In eDrawings 2021, we've got even more options to make communicating your ideas easier than ever. For example, you can now view custom and configuration specific properties right inside the eDrawings viewer. We've improved things like measure as well. You've always been able to find the center to center distance of two circular cylindrical objects, but now in eDrawings 2021, we can choose to view the minimum and maximum distances. If you'd like to share your 3D design without the requirement of the end user having to install the free eDrawings viewer, that's easy. Just save it as web HTML. Any modern web browser will natively open these files, and then you can zoom, pan, rotate, as well as view configurations and exploded states, section views, and even more. Now the web HTML format supports measurement directly right inside the web browser. Also new in 2021 is the ability to move and rotate bodies, which makes it really easy to interrogate large projects without having to dig through the assembly tree. These new enhancements will allow you to clearly communicate your concepts, giving the recipients a better understanding of your design, and no installation necessary with the web HTML format. Now Todd is going to show you what's new in Visualize 2021. 
As you know, with SOLIDWORKS Visualize, creating eye-catching photorealistic images from CAD data has never been easier. With support for configurations and enhancements to common features, working with SOLIDWORKS Visualize in 2021 is now even better. In previous releases of Visualize, you could only access the last saved configuration when importing a model. In Visualize 2021, all configurations are now accessible from a drop-down menu, giving you access to more options in your compositions. Applying appearances has always been a simple drag-and-drop from the appearance library. Visualize 2021 adds a new way to select a material when you're working in part selection mode. Just like before, a single click will select the desired part. Now in 2021, a double click will select the part's appearance. This makes it easy to copy and paste appearances and even edit existing appearances. No longer do you need to toggle between two different selection modes, which makes this an extremely useful enhancement. Now this bracket housing is produced in-house with our 3D printer, and naturally we want this bracket to appear as realistic as possible. Using the new double-click functionality gets us to the material properties where the color can be adjusted. We'll take an additional step and add a texture for a more realistic surface finish. Displacement maps are one way to give surfaces these types of textures. They're based on a grayscale image that tells the software how much to offset the surface. Displacement maps are a great way to add complexity to the model, but traditionally they've been difficult to calculate. Now in Visualize 2021, you have control over displacement map density to help you achieve better results. This displacement map, however, is a little too extreme for a 3D printed surface. As always, custom appearances can easily be saved and reused for later projects. Here, a nice subtle 3D printed texture from a previous project is ready to be reused. We can remap this appearance to align with the print process of the part. This adds realistic detail that will translate into more compelling renderings. But the bracket housing isn't the only component that's being 3D printed and a few other brackets in the subassembly deserve some attention before being rendered. Having access to the SOLIDWORKS assembly configurations makes organizing and navigating available compositions quick and easy. Just like in detailed drawings, section views are a perfect way to illustrate hidden features of your design. Visualize has supported section views in the past, but now in Visualize 2021, you have the ability to add capping to these section cuts along with modifying the capping color to create more eye-catching results. Now there are times when a photorealistic rendering isn't necessarily the right visual language to communicate a concept. Available in Visualize Professional 2021 is the new Tune camera filter. Tune is perfect for giving an artistic, conceptual sketch look to your design. You'll notice a handful of preset effects like white on black and black on white. Ambient occlusion gives a great shaded effect, and with the ability to modify shading styles and line colors, your options are limitless. Now when it comes to creating renderings, nothing beats the speed of the Visualize Hybrid Rendering Engine, especially when it's coupled with the denoiser feature. Previous releases of Visualize allow you to generate rendering passes for specific rendering layers, such as beauty, alpha, ambient occlusion, and so on. However, it would require a rendering process for each layer. Now in Visualize 2021, this has been streamlined by generating each layer in a single rendering output. Whether you're creating conceptual renderings for design reviews or photorealistic renderings for marketing collateral, SOLIDWORKS Visualize 2021 makes creating world-class renderings an exciting and efficient process with limitless possibilities. Now let's go back to Bob, who's going to show us what's new in SOLIDWORKS Composer. Thanks, Todd. Let's take a look at SOLIDWORKS Composer 2021 enhancements. When importing a new assembly into Composer, it's recommended to select the appropriate import profile to get the job done. Here, we'll make sure that we select SOLIDWORKS, go over to our SOLIDWORKS options, and you'll notice new in SOLIDWORKS 2021, the option to select the following configurations. Something we've been asking for for years, we now have being able to import multiple configurations into the Composer user interface, as you can see there. Let's go ahead and set this rendering mode into flat technical 
and capture our first view. Selecting these wipers here, let's go up and let's look at document properties for a moment. And we'll do some focusing on selections. New in SOLIDWORKS Composer 2021 is the ability to show hidden edges in your selection. We can also control the intensity of that. Drag that intensity up, hit apply, and we can see that those hidden edges appear. Changing the colors, we can also do inside a composer, been able to do that for a while, but we hit apply and you see that change. Other things that we could do inside of these document properties for quite some time, change the background, we'll turn off the gradient, we'll go over to paper space, and we'll change that to a custom aspect ratio. I'm going to do some HD imagery here with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. We'll change that from millimeters to inches, and we'll hit apply. New in SOLIDWORKS Composer 2021 is the ability to hit that save button. That's extremely helpful when we're working with other systems, we're updating previous projects, or standardizing the company on a particular set of document settings. The next step in this catalog is to create some views of the different cleaning head options. Composer offers quick ways of hiding and showing components via the right mouse button click. In this case, hiding all the unselected components and leaving just the desired cleaning head subassembly. New in 2021, we've updated the user interface to allow the docking of the configurations tab here. So we docked that over to the right and we're able to toggle through our different configurations. In this view, there's a handful of parts that are hidden that are selected in that, that, that sub-assembly. We now have a new setting that says highlight in the view invisible actors belonging to the selection. Let's take a look at that. By enabling this option, not only does it select show us the selected components, it also shows us the components that go with the selection that are not being displayed at that point in time which is very valuable when visualizing the structure of the assembly and what we're impacting with our selection. So with each one of these variants of the, the sub-assemblies needs an explode view, no problem. With the, some of the new advanced selection tools, we can select all those identicals, go in, use our balloons and our labels and apply the appropriate documentation there. Jumping ahead to the finished project, we can now take that native composer file and display that and share that with people directly on the 3D Experience platform. 3D Play has now full support for composer documents inside of the 3D Experience platform. So some great enhancements. So we've talked about multiple configurations, being able to and with that I'm going to pass it back over to Randy and we're going to talk about simulations in SOLIDWORKS 2021. SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2021 makes it easier than ever to succeed. The analysis process is simplified and more flexible, and accuracy and speed improvements have been added. To validate how this corner mount assembly will perform, fixtures and loads will be created. To reduce the calculation requirements, the hardware components are set to use a draft quality mesh. From there, we can mesh and run to solve the study. The results look great, and this study was set up and solved faster than in previous versions. This is partially because of the added support for multi-core processing of contacts and multi-core meshing available with Simulation Professional and Premium. 
Let's take a closer look to see how Simulation 2021 has made this whole process even easier. New properties for bonded and contact interactions specify gap and stabilization regions to make your simulation more robust, even for models with slightly imperfect geometries. For example, with this new property, clearances between the bolt, nut, and plate are automatically recognized and treated, saving you from inaccurate results and time spent troubleshooting the study. The results at interaction areas are more accurate with Simulation 2021. For contact interactions, cylindrical, spherical, and conical geometry correction factors are now integrated. And for bonded interactions, improved accuracy is also built in. This is going to enable faster and more robust meshing where interacting components don't share common mesh nodes. To check the quality of the mesh, a new diagnostics tool is available. The pore elements are now automatically isolated, making them quick and easy to find. And the mesh helper may be used to automate the mesh refinement if necessary. When it comes time to solve the study, choosing the right solver can save a lot of calculation time. This is why the automatic solver selection algorithm has been optimized to better account for many variables to give you the best run for your study and your computer. Of course, for experienced users, you can still choose between multiple solvers manually. Experienced users will also recognize the terminology updates throughout SOLIDWORKS simulation, especially when it comes to component interactions. The user interface now matches conventional industry terminology and better re represents the enhancements you've seen here. So whether it's simple or complex studies, you'll achieve success faster and easier with your simulation design efforts using SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2021. Next, Todd will show us what's new with Flow Simulation 2021. Thanks, Randy. Let's take a look at some of the new enhancements for Flow Simulation in SOLIDWORKS 2021. For this thruster, one of our primary concerns is making sure we have enough power and enough torque to repel this robot through the water. Looking at the settings for the rotating frame of reference, we can see how much power over time we're going to apply. We'll go into the input data settings here and we'll see what some of the initial conditions are and we can see here that we're able to use a rotating frame of reference along with a free surface. So we can see the interaction between the two fluids that are involved here and the torque coming out of those impeller blades. Looking at the transient analysis we can calculate some of the goals that we have here for torque and power and, and so on. With those goals, those can be tracked as an output over history. So if we go to show the outputs here, you can see we've got a summary plot. We can also look at, at it as a history plot as well. Going back into the summary, new in 2021, we now have the ability to see the maximum calculation and at what time in the analysis that calculation actually happened. It's common to want to create visualizations over multiple projects. Now we can come in and save our plots from the current scene into multiple projects. Take that a step further. Sometimes the visualization that we do, we like it so much, we want to use that on other projects. So here we have that nice free body plot. We also have the cross section area of the fluids interacting. And I want to use that in other locations later on. We can save this scene as a template and apply that as standard result plots in the future. Another common application for flow simulation is heat transfer. This vehicle's enclosure is mostly for electrical components, but it's designed as a heat sink. Okay. So a flux plot provides a graphical user interface to show you how the power is being transferred from one component to another. Now here, it can be very, how, how would I say this, very much a spider's web of information to deal with. So new in 2021, we give you the ability to group all the types together and see how that power and that energy is going from one state to another to make sure that we are fully converging. 
Another nice enhancement in 2021 is with goals. Having the ability to go into the goals editor and calculate the max, min, and averages for multiple goals in one shot is really nice. That negates having to manually go in and calculate a single goal that is a combination of all the previous goals. To take that a step further with the manual calculations we'd have to do is visualization parameters. Now we can have a visualization parameter that is a custom visualization parameter based upon another visualization parameter. But a great example of that would be the Magnus formula for calculating dew point temperature. So here we can go into the engineering database, put in the information for the Magnus formula, and also refer to it in another formula. Just another way to make our lives easier so we don't have to reproduce work that's already been done by somebody else. So with Flow, the ability to have free surfaces and a rotating frame of reference, improved goals, being able to save out your plots as a template and apply those to future use, and also being able to have enhancements in your engineering database for more complex calculations to make your life easier are just some of the things that we can do in Flow 2021. SolidWorks Plastics 2021 gives you insights into new injection molding processes, offers new materials, and continues to simplify and streamline the setup process. A new injection molding process is available to accommodate multiple material overmolding. This manufacturing process is perfect for parts like this that require a soft protective covering molded over the rigid plastic. You can now fully define your analysis before any meshing is required. This starts with selecting materials for each injection process. And SolidWorks Plastics 2021 has added over 300 new materials from global manufacturers to choose from. For the first injection, one of the new ABS materials from BASF will be used. The second injection process will use another new material, a thermoplastic for the soft protective cover, selected from our recently used list. Once the material for each injection process has been specified, you simply need to apply the material to its associated domain, the ABS material to the part body and the TPE to the overmold body. SolidWorks Plastics also makes it easier to define other critical elements in your plastics analysis. For instance, you can define cooling channels without the need to physically model the mold. Your simulation results are also significantly improved in Plastics 2021 by creating more realistic baffles and bubblers within these virtual cooling channels. All you need to worry about are the specifications for each type, which include parameters like the OD height and the thickness of the blade in the baffle channel and ID in the bubbler channel. You'll see how these new changes impact the mesh shortly. Like the cooling channels, you can define a runner system and virtual mold allowing you to analyze multiple scenarios for your injection process before investing time into modeling the components of the mold design. All of these domains, like the part geometry, can now have their materials applied to them prior to any meshing taking place, and you can fully specify the components in your analysis. Other critical mold design elements, like the injection locations, can be defined directly on the 3D model without the need for meshing any geometry. By referencing the geometry instead of the mesh, you'll save time setting up different design scenarios, and your work will automatically update if the 3D model changes. All of the boundary conditions in the plastic study can be defined geometrically this way. This includes other design elements, such as the cooling channel inputs and outputs, and the clamp force direction. The entire plastics analysis has been defined geometrically and virtually. This makes the file on disk smaller, portable, and more adaptive to change. Eventually, when you do mesh the model in preparation for a final simulation, you'll immediately see the benefit of those improved baffles and bubblers that we defined earlier. They're now fully meshed and modeled, giving you more accurate cooling results without the need to model the components that make up those inserts. By defining the entire simulation study on the 3D model and virtual domains, it enables a more dynamic workflow 
where you can evaluate different scenarios before you start the design and manufacture of your molds. The cooling results, which include the overmold injection process, are now more accurate, giving you confidence in your injection molding process. SOLIDWORKS Plastics 2021 delivers a larger library of materials, offers a new overmolding process, and improves the capabilities of geometrically based definition. This will simplify your simulation setup and improve your overall plastic design process. Now let's go back to Randy who's going to show us what's new in SOLIDWORKS PDM. SOLIDWORKS PDM 2021 introduces expanded configurability and increased performance for you to help manage your team's file-based processes. One of the best features of SOLIDWORKS PDM has long been the integration with Windows Explorer. In 2021, support for the latest Windows 10 elements like the ribbon interface is even better. In Details View Columns, define specific sets of visible properties for users. In PDM 2021, you can customize these even further in more places and provide choices with multiple column sets. For example, users can quickly switch between different purpose-built column sets as different views to your data. You can define columns for more places, like quick search results as well. You can add, move, remove, rename, and define permission to view and default preferences per user or group. In 2021, a new administrative permission gives you finer control over user ability to customize their columns. As you build out your workflow, you'll enjoy the new and updated icons for the states and transitions in PDM 2021. New in PDM Professional, Treehouse View is available in Where Used and Contains tabs. This visual reference can be printed or exported to an Excel file with thumbnails, which could become part of a change order documentation. If we jump ahead, we can see we've redesigned the bracket to use aluminum plates. Converting this to a weldment creates cut list items, and in 2021, these are fully supported in PDM. Calculated bills of materials, even excluding from cut list, is now taken into account. It's not just weldments that are better supported in 2021. Derived part references, like those created from insert part, mirror, and 3D interconnect are included as well. Also, SOLIDWORKS bill of material component display settings are fully recognized. For example, if we promote this configuration, the children will be presented at the next level up. A comparison of the computed bill material shows the new version is taking into account all the flexibility. Performance has also been improved in PDM. Here are two benchmarks that SOLIDWORKS R&D did. The first is testing four different assemblies with large numbers of components and configurations. As you can see, there are massive decreases in time just to display the check-in box. Make sure to check out the What's New PDF for a complete list of performance highlights in PDM. With the expanded configurability and the increased performance of SOLIDWORKS PDM 2021, you can take your engineering items to the next level. Bob is going to show us what's new in SOLIDWORKS Manage 2021. SOLIDWORKS Manage 2021 provides new ways to manage your projects, edit bill of materials, and interact with your suppliers. Let's take a look at some of that. Managing multiple projects is common for most project managers. New in Manage 2021 is the ability to create project lists. The list can be created to meet your individual needs, but can also be created by an admin and shared amongst your company. Project lists provide easy visibility for powerful resource management tools, such as scheduling, capacity planning, and load charts. These are all there to help you make an informed decision about your project start dates. Assigning tasks to users allows them to update the completion status and deliverables. This is an easy and powerful way to update the progress of a project. New and Managed 2021 is the Auto Update Project Service. This is a background service that can be configured to check for task updates and automatically update the completion status of a project stage. Additionally, any attachments that have been added to the task can automatically be transferred 
to the deliverable section of said project. Manage 2021 provides some new ways to visualize the project tasks. Out of the box, dashboards are now accessible directly from the project and provide clear visibility to the project task burn down as well as status and priority. Task boards can now be grouped by priority and a status, allowing you to quickly visualize the assignment of tasks. With a simple drag and drop, the task can be moved to in progress. With a double click, the information can be accessed directly from the task board. Items are a powerful way to correlate design data and manage. This item has records that are referencing multiple SOLIDWORKS assemblies and need to be consolidated into a manufactured bill. Modeless windows are now allow you to open multiple records and work on both at the same time, facilitating the copy and paste from one bomb to another. Now when using the copy from command, you can select the assembly that you want to copy and now preview the components to be added and deselect any items that aren't required. From inside the bomb, familiar editing tools like cut are now available. Cut items turn orange, indicating that they are currently undergoing a cut operation. Once the bill of material has been saved, they disappear from the list, just as you would expect. This assembly has a sheet metal part in it that needs to undergo a laser cut operation for the flat pattern, as well as a bending op for the, on a press break. New and Managed 2021 is the ability to create a new and new from record directly from the bill of material without exiting the current record. Simply adjust any metadata and specify what to carry over into the new record. To add this sheet metal component to the manufacturing operations, we can use the new dissolve command on its parent assembly. This command allows us to indicate which subassemblies we'd like to break down into their individual components. Once complete, we can remove the components that aren't required for the bomb. Then simply cut and paste the sheet metal bracket into the laser cut operation and into the press break operation. New for the web client for Manage 2021 is the ability to preview SOLIDWORKS CAD data utilizing the Web 2 inside of SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional. This provides full preview capability of e-drawings on the web for users of SOLIDWORKS Manage. Finally, when it comes to sharing data with suppliers, it couldn't be easier with the share command. This tool creates a, a unique link that can be emailed or shared directly. You can add security precautions like a password or link timeouts, and templates can be made available to ensure that all the reference components are packaged up for the download. Suppliers can simply click the link and download the file that you shared with them. Thanks, Bob. With SOLIDWORKS CAM 2021, you'll experience seamless design to manufacture, with enhancements to your everyday milling and turning operations and giving you more control over how you manage and reuse your data. A recent redesign of this mounting bracket is a perfect opportunity to put SOLIDWORKS CAM to work. A default stock bounding box fits perfectly to this finished part. New in SOLIDWORKS CAM 2021, Predefined bounding box gives you the ability to represent standard rectangular stock. In this example, we have a piece of 6061 aluminum that is 6 inches by 6 inches and 3 8 inches thick. You can save, update, and share your go to sizes through the technology database. With automatic feature recognition, you can generate an initial strategy in under a minute. Also new in 2021, 
you can define PEC parameters with respect to your tool diameter. More control over point-to-point -point operations like drilling lets me quickly capture best practices. The technology database stores how you want to operate, and your preferences become the next defaults. As it turns out, we find we have a supply on hand of 8-inch wide bar. I make the changes and save that stock to my technology database. We now have a new prompt for rebuild feature, which is presented when stock is modified. Everything from my coordinate system feature to the thread operation needed to be rebuilt. Prompt for rebuild keeps me aware of exactly what's happening when I update my program. But what if we want to swap in round material instead of bar? New in 2021, cylindrical stock is generated automatically. Cam will fit a minimum diameter and thickness, and with a few changes, I can see what this program looks like with 8-inch aluminum round. Finally, CAM 2021 provides a new setting in the technology database to specify a default post folder. This makes it simple to share posts between programmers and stay up to date when folder locations change. SOLIDWORKS CAM 2021 gives the manufacturing floor more automation with expanded stock options, enhanced drill operations, and more control over how you manage your posts. Now let's go back to Randy, who's going to show us what's new in SOLIDWORKS Routing. In SOLIDWORKS Routing 2021, we've enhanced the Route Through Clip functionality. Inside the Property Manager, the new Arrange Routes section allows you to manually arrange wires with user-defined offset, or merge the routes to a single point, or auto-arrange the routes. This allows you to see the individual wires running through a clip, rather than bundling them together as we did in the past. We've also added the ability to add splices along a route without having to physically add a component to do it. There's a new option in the Add a Splice to choose without component. If everything we designed was only a square and a rectangle, we'd never need splines. In the electrical world, paths of electrical wiring and harnesses take on many forms, including lines and splines. In SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2021, We've enhanced route harnessing functionality to now support both splines and lines to create a route. Here we've created a route path with both splines and lines for the harness that connects the transducer that goes ahead and goes underneath the route cables along the wall. Let's adjust some of these arcs and curves to make the path a little bit smoother. To prevent cutting the conductor wires too short, We'll add a splice in this wire so the conductors in the harness are all cut to the same length. It is a common practice to have multiple cables start from a single connector and have each of those cables go to a different part in the electrical system. Routing all these cables to a single assembly doesn't provide much flexibility for a designer. In SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematic 2021, we provided cable properties that include the option for separate 3D route assemblies. The same parameter can also be controlled in SOLIDWORKS Route Cable Command to provide maximum flexibility for us as designers. We've already created two separate route paths, one for each cable starting from a 10-pin connector that brings signal from the outside world to the PCB board of the navigation sensor. We will choose to route those two cables at once in as separate assemblies. These are just a few of the enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2021 for electrical routing. Using the 3D Experience platform is a revolutionary way to transform how your business operates. It connects people so they can effectively collaborate on projects. It connects your data to tools that help you make informed decisions about your designs. And it connects your team to design applications that run in a browser which reduces the need for costly hardware. With many of us working remotely, there's questions about how we securely centralize our data, how we improve collaboration, how we design concurrently, and how can we do this using SOLIDWORKS. Square Robot sought to address these questions and challenges when they adopted cloud data management with SOLIDWORKS and the 3D Experience platform. So let's follow the design team at Square Robot as they show us what it's like to store and manage SOLIDWORKS data in the cloud. 
Let's begin by dropping in on our engineer Eric to see how his day is starting in Sauer's desktop. He receives a notification from his manager Megan. Clicking on the pop-up takes him to a community post discussing a design change. He's being asked to add some rollers to an existing assembly. He does a CAD model search and drags it into his Sauer session. It's that simple for him to access the data and it's all secure and on the platform. He reserves the assembly and now it's his for write access. He's made this change, but before he saves it back to the cloud, he wants to know where that assembly is being used. With Relationships app, it gives him a graphic view of the parent-child dependencies. He finds a top-level assembly and opens it right inside of his SOLIDWORKS session. Choosing lightweight means that SOLIDWORKS doesn't have to download every component for that assembly. This is a big time saver for a large assembly. This is usually one that Eric works with quite a bit. With the top level assembly open, he reserves it and saves. Eric creates a new version of the lid, now with the rollers added. Despite being a pretty large assembly, save time is efficient because it's only saving files that need to be changed up to the cloud. In fact, his team has been productive from day one because connecting their data to the cloud requires no customization and no special setup. Later on, Eric still has some work to do that doesn't require modeling in SOLIDWORKS. All his 3D Experience apps are accessible from any browser. And with his data safely in the cloud, he has the freedom and mobility to keep working from just about anywhere on any device. First, he loads the top-level assembly into the Product Structure Explorer. This app provides a graphical view and list view at the same time. He can arrange and filter the display in any way he likes. He needs to locate the newly added roller assembly within the structure in order to attach the supporting document. In this case, a PDF with installation instructions. Now it's time to give Megan an update on his progress. Instead of an email or a phone call or a web meeting, Eric tailors his interactive dashboard that will have exactly the information he wants her to review. First, he adds the 3D Play viewing app preloaded with the top level assembly. He also grabs a screenshot he can post back to the discussion thread. Next, he launches the Bookmarks app. This is a convenient way of organizing shortcuts to frequently used or favorite items. His manager Megan likes this because it keeps her most important data right at her fingertips. When he's ready to share the dashboard, he just copies the link. As a last step, Eric opens up his 3D Swim app in a side panel. He adds a comment, pastes the link to the shared dashboard, and then inserts a screenshot of his latest design. Connecting SOLIDWORKS to the 3D Experience platform is the best of both worlds, cloud and desktop. You just saw that it provides a fast and easy way to store, manage, and share design data with the convenience and security of the cloud. There's little to no setup required, so users can be productive right away. And the 3D Experience platform is much more than just saving SOLIDWORKS data to the cloud. For non-CAD users like Megan, the engineering manager, the platform gives her a simple approach to managing her team more efficiently. Let's see how she uses the 3D Experience apps to streamline collaboration. Megan opens her browser and sees that Eric has replied to her post. He's included a link that she can add to her existing dashboard. The 3D Play Viewing app and Bookmarks app are pre-loaded with the data Megan needs to review the latest design, just as Eric laid out for her. With 3D Play, you get fully interactive viewing of large, complex 3D models, and it works on any device, even your tablet or phone. There's no special hardware, and 3D Play doesn't require any CAD license. It's available to anyone able to access your platform. The 3D Play app also includes a measure tool, which Megan is using here to verify the proper radius on the wall roller assembly. With the measure tool, you can specify which units to use, and here the 25 inch radius is confirmed. But looking closer at the roller arms, Megan wonders if there might be excessive twisting without a support member between them. So she launches Issue 3D to log a record of the issue. This is just one of the many ways the team can use the 3D Experience platform to track problems and change requests. She tags the relevant 3D models and verifies the right people are assigned to the issue. In this case, Eric will automatically be notified from the platform. 
There's no need for Megan to follow up via email or a phone. It's all streamlined and in the platform with collaboration. Now she launches 3D Markup. This app gives her extended tools to document the issue. She can create multiple views and various annotations right on the 3D model. The markup and all relevant information are self-contained within the issue and available for anyone to view. While Eric gets to work on the design issue, Megan has a job for Debbie the designer. She uses the Collaborative Task app to assign Debbie with adding a hardware kit and creating drawings for the wheel roller assembly. Just like with the Issue app, Collaborative Task collects all the communications, assignees, 3D models in one spot and displays the progress for all her tasks in a single dashboard tab, giving Megan an overview of everything that should be on her radar. The 3D Experience platform helps Megan streamline the collaboration with her team, all in a browser on any device with no software installed. It's an intuitive app that eliminates dozens of disconnected solutions, improving productivity and providing clear focus for her team members. All right, so the team would like to get a quick response to the customer. To do this, they'll need to work on the same SolidWorks model at the same time. Not having proper write access or even accidentally overriding someone else's work are things that can happen all the time with traditional file-based data management. And it's even harder when workers are remote. So let's see how the 3D Experience platform enables a more error-free approach to concurrent design. First, let's check in on Debbie. She has the Collaborative Tasks app running inside her SolidWorks task pane. She sees the task that has been assigned to her and drags it into In Progress. The related CAD model is already attached. She just needs to open it into her SolidWorks session. All of the changes that Debbie needs to make are at the assembly level, so she only needs to reserve the top level for write access. Jumping ahead, she's added the fastener kit and saves to the cloud so any other user with proper access will be able to see her latest updates. Next, she lays out a 2D drawing with a bill of material that Megan will need to show to the customer. Meanwhile, Eric gets to work on the stability problem. The Issue Management app keeps track of his progress and carries along all the information he needs to get to work. He starts by opening the attached 3D markup. He sees Megan's notes and clicks through the 3D geometry to find the affected subassembly. Megan attached the roller assembly, but Eric needs to reference its parent assembly as well. He can easily locate it using the Relations app. From there, it's an easy drag and drop to attach that assembly to the issue as well. Then, with a right click, he can open it directly in his SOLIDWORKS session. And this is where it gets interesting because this is the same assembly that Debbie is already working on. That's okay because Eric only needs write access to the wheel roller assembly itself. The top assembly is just for visual reference. He reserves what he needs and gets to work adding a stabilizing member. When he tries to save the assembly, he sees there are subcomponents that also need to be saved that he didn't reserve. On the fly, the software can give him access to those additional files, all without causing an interruption to Eric's workflow. The save is now complete and the assembly is up to date and safely uploaded to the cloud. Eric moves the issue status to in approval for Megan to review. Since Debbie is still working on the assembly, Eric lets her know he's finished making changes. He uses the built-in conversations tool to send her an instant message. So now, what does Debbie do? She just needs to refresh the assembly that she has opened in RAM with the latest version from the platform. She's now up to date, including the drawings, and now ready to save everything in as well. To close the loop, she returns to the collaborative task, attaches the drawing, leaves a comment for Megan, and moves the task to completed all without leaving the SOLIDWORKS session. All right, now let's go back to Megan. One way she keeps up to date with her team is through her notifications panel. Anytime there's a status change, an update, or comment on anything she's involved with, it will show up here. First, she checks on the issues she assigned to Eric. 
her original 3D markup automatically shows the latest design changes. Everything looks good, so she marks the issue as completed. Issue management on the 3D Experience platform is a great way for their company to log the history of the problem reports and changes. Now to take a look at Debbie's work. Megan switches to her bookmarks apps. There's the drawing. She drags it right into the 3D Play viewer. It's exactly what she needs to be able to show the concept to the customer. She marks the drawing as released so it cannot be changed during the customer approval process. Then, Megan posts a quick comment on her original discussion thread to let them all know that this step is finished and she is off to see the customer with the ideas. Multiple designers accessing the same files simultaneously. We all know how tricky that can be with traditional file-based storage. But with SolidWorks plus the 3D Experience platform, concurrent design is easy because the PLM tools are ready to use right out of the box. Users can tell right away who's working on what so they can avoid common problems like permission issues, non-matching versions, and accidental overwrites. And when there are changes, the notification tools built into the 3D Experience platform keep everyone in the loop and keeps a history of it all. Now, more than ever, companies are looking for ways to centralize and secure their SolidWorks desktop data in the cloud while streamlining collaboration and enabling error-free concurrent design. For Square Robot, SolidWorks and Inovia made this a reality. SolidWorks Cloud Design apps introduce new capabilities with every release, providing more mobility without sacrificing powerful design tools that you know and love. Subdivision modeling can capture the best of your creativity by crafting organic, ergonomic shapes, saving you hours of design time. Every mechanical and sheet metal designer are familiar with some of the tools and feel right at home. Cloud-based rendering helps you bring your work to life without having to worry about hardware constraints. All this functionality is there for you to be able to design on any device at any time. Let's take a look at some of our favorite X apps. X Shape on the 3D Experience platform opens the door to creating stylish, sculptural, and organic forms through subdivision modeling. The tools and workflows found in X Shape provide a unique experience focused on creating the perfect shape without having to rely on traditional modeling tools like surface modeling. Think of it as working with digital clay. You begin by selecting a primitive that represents what you're trying to create. You can modify the primitive by adding or removing divisions and by changing the scale and proportions. Once your form is roughed in, you can refine your design in a variety of methods. Any of the model's vertices, faces, or edges can be selected to drag, rotate, and scale. And as you make modifications, X-Shape will preserve the continuity across the entire shape you're creating. You can add more loops or subdivide the model for more complex curvature. And selecting different combinations of entities allow for unlimited options for changing your geometry. To speed up selecting geometry, the selection filter allows you to filter any entity type. Selecting an edge loop, as seen here, is an ideal way to make adjustments to the overall cross sections of your model. And the crease feature can be used to add sharper edges to the design. Powerful tools like Symmetry will help you maintain design intent, ensuring that what you create on one side will be duplicated on the other. And subdividing smaller regions or groups of regions allow you to create more discrete details without changing the overall form. For more finite control of your form, you can activate the Cage Manipulator. This provides an alternative to selecting the vertices, edges, and faces on your model directly and can give you a different perspective on how your changes affect model geometry. Finally, when you need more distinct forms in your design, simply add and refine more primitive shapes. Subdivision modeling with X-Shape on the 3D Experience platform 
is a powerful and efficient way to create complex forms. Thanks to the power of the 3D Experience platform, anything you create in XShape can be further refined in other applications in the cloud, like XDesign, or they can be imported into traditional tools like SolidWorks. With XShape's easy-to-use intuitive tools and workflows, you'll find that your only limitation is your imagination. XDesign on the 3D Experience platform delivers a major change in the way you design 3D components. Starting with its unique single modeling environment, you're no longer constrained by working with parts or assemblies, like traditional design tools. Instead, you can get right to work creating the features and sketches that define your designs. Within XDesign, you'll find familiar sketch and feature tools, but you'll also find a ton of new ways to tackle your design challenges quickly. For example, while interactively sketching profiles, XDesign guides you in understanding which entities are geometrically constrained. As you add relationships between entities, capturing design intent, the color of those entities changes, helping you to define your sketches. XDesign is also always helping you in capturing your design intent by providing automatic relations as you sketch. Continuously drawing the same diameter circle? XDesign recognizes this and automatically makes them equal to one another. Whenever you want to add more relations, simply select two geometric entities and XDesign will provide you with relations that make sense. XDesign also shades the shapes of the contours within your sketches to let you know what shapes can ultimately be created with them. This lets you understand your overall design better while your sketches take on more complexity. Creating three-dimensional features from your 2D sketches is easy in XDesign. Multiple options for controlling the final shape are available in every feature dialog, eliminating the need for different dialogs for different features. For example, the extrude command can create features that are solids or surfaces. They can also be changed to add material or remove material at any time, and even start completely new bodies, all in a single command. Nearly all of these features can be dynamically changed later to become a different feature in the future, all on the fly without the need to start a different command. Maybe you created a chamfer and decided you'd rather have a fillet instead. Just a simple edit and change the feature type. This eliminates the need to delete and recreate the feature. This gives you unparalleled flexibility as you create and change your designs as well as eliminating the need to learn different features for similar tasks. As these designs take shape, the power of the single modeling environment becomes more than just creating new geometry. It also offers the flexibility of which features make up entirely new components. XDesign allows you to select those features and create a new component from them on the fly. These newly created components can be used in other designs and managed with all of the tools on the 3D Experience platform. In addition to creating parts on the fly, right from an assembly by selecting the features, there is also a more traditional approach to building structured designs. You can simply insert one component into another at any time. Finding your components is simple because all of your engineering data is saved and managed on the 3D Experience platform. Simply search for the component you're looking for and then drag and drop it into the XDesign app. When you want to locate them precisely, through mates, you simply need to choose the entities of two different objects, and XDesign presents you with an intelligent menu of possible mates. Choosing the desired mate type immediately moves the components into the desired position, and restrains them to one another indefinitely. To streamline this workflow, when you're adding multiple instances of the same component, you can choose to instead use copy with mates. This not only adds additional instances of the component, but also adds the exact same mates as the original, streamlining the entire process. Sometimes you may need to change the component used in a particular instance. For example, from a longer fastener to a shorter one. Replace component allows you to quickly search the 3D Experience platform for the file you're looking for and choose a replacement. You can also choose to replace all instances of the component if you desire. This gives you the flexibility to look at how different components will interface with your design. 
XDesign will change the way you think about CAD and structured assemblies with its powerful single modeling environment, along with its easy to use mating tools. Let's look at the new X Sheet Metal app for the 3D Experience platform. This angle bracket and base plate are going to be pretty expensive to manufacture. So we're going to go ahead and try to make this into a sheet metal component instead. Grabbing the bottom face of this base plate will give us a sketch needed to begin our sheet metal part. We don't need those holes because that bracket's going to become part of the sheet metal component. Putting our first feature in, We'll look at the standard sheet metal functionality that we need with thickness, bend radius, and relief, and then we'll accept that command. We want to be able to have this saw slide very smoothly across parts, so we're going to bend up that edge there on the front using a sketch as our base for bending. Selecting the sketch in a bent point. We can then put in the angle at which we want that, that bend to go up at 150 degrees, and we're on our way. We're going to pull some walls or some edge flanges, depending on what functionality you're used to calling it. We'll go ahead and tell it the material to the inside there, and we'll accept that. Remember, we're doing this all in a web browser. We're going to have a flange that's going to have to be bent up here in a moment. So we need to add a clearance area for that flange to be bent up. So we're going to make a cut here, taking away some material. Then we're going to go ahead and grab that angle bracket and borrow some geometry off that. Grabbing the back face, we can then convert that geometry into a sketch. We'll get rid of that extra geometry there on the bottom joining the two endpoints. Just a single click there with my context sensitive toolbar and we've got a closed sketch. That, that sketch does not have to be perfectly on that edge to start that flange. We'll go ahead, pick that sketch, pick, pick that edge, and we've got everything that we need to finish that feature off. Change the reliefs there so it fits in better. Maybe tighten the bend radius a little bit. And let's go ahead and do a check. We'll unfold the part and see if there's any interferences, which there is. So that flange does interfere with the part right there. Do a quick measurement. Looks like we got about 16 and a quarter millimeters. So we'll extend out that cutout that we did by 20 millimeters. Do that check once again. Looks like we got plenty of clearance there. And now we've been able to substitute a nice sheet metal part very quickly, all inside of a web browser. XStudio is a browser based tool to create and share photorealistic renderings of your product to showcase your designs. It allows you to easily create marketing assets and connect and continue working anytime, anywhere, directly in your web browser. It has a streamlined interface for everyone to be able to create photorealistic product shots to validate and promote their products. It leverages cloud rendering services to generate photorealistic images anywhere with no client installation or costly hardware. Then of course you can directly share your results in 3D Swim and 3D Space with other users. On behalf of myself, Bob McGoy, Todd Myers, Randy Simmons, and the rest of the computer-aided technology staff. We'd like to thank you for attending our presentation today. And now, we're going to open it up for questions.